up, everyone? It's time for another episode of the Sunday Roast. Uh, as you can see, my partner in crime is as usual, up to no good. Hey. Adjust, adjusting himself, adjusting the air condition, adjusting the fan, because he doesn't know the basic of no background white noise. But uh-huh. at least he got the t-shirt on. He's wearing the jiggy t-shirt. Well done, uh, well done, your good and faithful servant. Ah, yes, sir. This you is the second on. edition. <laughs> so, this is week two. Week two of the MCO, and uh, as you can tell, we are still going crazy, staying at home, going for grocery shopping. Malaysian men are losing their plot. Okay, so this guy... Stop this guy, with the hoarding. Stop with the panic buying, guys. Stop it. Seriously, it is just crazy and nonsensical. Gardenia breads were never a thing. And now you all are going mad buying it. What's up with that, guys? Stop it, lah. Seriously. And the heads of the family are the ones out there buying. And so recently, this guy came across these three different men in the aisles. One guy had his wife on speakerphone. And she was running a train on him. Every single bad word that could come out, came out. So you knew who were the parents in that relationship. Another guy was taking photos, sending to the wife. The last guy was a bit smart. Video calling the wife. Correct. Uh, sweet potato or normal potato. So that's probably the best way you want to go grocery shopping. So, public Malaysian service men. announcement, okay? Men. The head of the family, it is not you. It is your wife. Admit it, own it. Call. When you sign on the dotted line and put on the ring and you say, I do, you ha- are no longer in control. Okay? Admit it. Because the only time you're going to have the upper hand is on that night of the wedding. After that, it's a gone. So That's my it. suggestion is uh, you drive your wife to the grocery shop, lost let her go shopping. You hide in the car. The coppers will understand. When you just say, ah, bang dia yang pakai itu pants, uh, saya baru pemandu, copper also won't throw you in jail. Uh. They understand. Uh, and all that married men say, I, 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 I. I <laughs> uh, see this episode. <laughs> and, and on that note, uh, married men, uh, I, I also know how your life can change. Uh, Pornhub uh, premium membership is now available for free. Oh, so, yes, sir. Uh, yes, one. it's available, available, very much so. So please that uh, is feel very free. timely, brother. Where especially for Singaporeans, as of 27th of March, all nightclubs, bars, cinemas, and non-health related <laughs> massage operators are no longer allowed to operate until the end of April. That means May. All right. So you have like you know pimps hustling away on the eve of this whole lockdown and whatnot all oh, going around uh, i got a nice girl for you i might be your last chance for a while you know no, dude all right brother there's always porn hub premium okay just chill all right keep it this, in your pants literally okay exactly and this jackass actually dropped a message to magnum ice cream on facebook and asked the when the magnum drop the magnum draw would it be coming out uh, on the 31st and uh, they had to say, I'm sorry, sir, this is a Magnum ice cream. You are looking for Magnum 4D. <laughs> I tell you, this whole coronavirus thing uh, is not bringing, it's, it's really bringing out the stupid people into pure light at this very point in time, okay? You know what? There was this, it's not only, uh, it's a, not only a Malaysian thing, okay, bro? It's, it's a worldwide thing, all right? Sure, exactly. Yeah. You have this American guy who actually decided to go and drink a, uh, fish tank uh, detergent because they feel that it's going to you know, cure them of coronavirus, okay? And why he actually did that was because Donald Trump, the POTUS, the man himself, actually mm-hmm. declared that there's this substance that's been approved called chloroquine that will actually help fight coronavirus. And he saw in his fish tank solution that 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 that, that, that name is also there as well. So the dude downed it and now passed away. Well, I tell you, man, crazy! Well, when Donald Trump are leading the pack, it's no wonder that they have always wanted to be number one. And so, as of yesterday, they are now number one in the world, as usual, overtaking China for the most Corona virus cases. Oh, so, dude, that's, uh, that's, that's cool. Is <laughs> top of the pile all over again. And he wants to rid America of the virus by Easter Sunday. His claim is they're going to fill the churches and open the borders and America will be great again. Donald Trump, I don't know what the ganja you are smoking. I suggest you better drink some of the same detergent. <laughs> In the meantime, <laughs> all right, I'm telling you, the Mexicans are building that wall along the border of America. For free. Why? Yes, they're doing it for free because they're trying to prevent Americans from crossing the border right now. <laughs> I tell you. I tell you. This is either, like, you, know, you can either call Donald Trump a genius, you know, you can call him like a real dumbass, but 
Things are working, la, right? For him, things are working for him in this front, la. And even Boris is down with coronavirus, man. Oh, Boris, Prince Charles, Queen yeah. Elizabeth. Oh, I tell you, it's it's a it's a shit show. It's a shit storm over there, man. I tell and you. And yet, you got these monkeys in Montera jogging around, huh? Yes, that's right. Eleven of them, and I think they got arrested. And out of them, I think there were like, uh, no, there's like two Malaysians, one American, one British, one Indian, four Japanese, and two South Korean. And I thought. Japanese are real law-abiding bunch, you know. I feel like exactly. going after them, uh, right? Ah, uh, ah, uh, I know, I know. Ni Nihon san, uh, uh, jo jogging, uh, yamete, yamete, uh, go home and yamete, yamete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I'm thinking, man. That's what I want to tell them, you know. Oh gosh, crazy. Oh, oh, and, man. And speaking of which, do you know the N95 mask goes back in history, and it was actually designed by a Malaysian doctor. For real. Dr. Wu Lian Tei from Penang. Oh man, okay, that's it. I know how he got inspired, man. Dude must be eating his chakwitya on one side of the road, and uncle is frying it up, and then all the fumes be piercing his nostrils. He's be like, I, I need, I need me a good mask to block the fumes so I can enjoy my chakwitya, I tell you. Actually, no, it was actually the plague that was in China, and uh. for some reason he was commissioned, and homeboy was actually out of. Uh, Cambridge. He studied in Cambridge, but he couldn't speak the Mandarin. But somehow or other, he patented and he created the first N95 mask. And look at where we are today. Almost a right. hundred, almost, I think, uh, almost a hundred years later, if I'm not wrong. So uh, crazy, crazy one, huh? Uh, Malaysia definitely boleh lah. I mean, along that line, right? To just, you know, uh, World Health Organization have actually chose Malaysia to run trials on a new drug to fight COVID-19. And I think that drug That's is right. called Remdesivir. All right. Oh, well, if we are given that responsibility, I'm glad, I'm happy, Malaysia boleh, bagus, shabas, let's do it, man, let's do it, and let's do it right. What I wish, what I wish. But uh, you also know it means uh, we are probably the first guinea pigs in the world, but thank you very much, uh, World Health Organization. We appreciate your vote of confidence. Thank you plenty. So folks, that's it for this week's episode. Uh, of uh, Sunday Rose, but actually, uh, let's not forget that uh, some brands were jumping on the bandwagon. McDonald's tried to uh, socially distance their double golden arches in Brazil, and it kind of um, backlashed. The star has done it, and that went down well. So it really gotta you gotta think closely of who you are as a brand globally, and whether you're capitalizing and jumping on the bandwagon, or whether you're doing things from the heart. It's like our internet; we're gonna have it free for the whole month of April. I want my electricity. I want my water. Uh, what else can we get free? We might as well uh, ask. You say internet free for one whole one one whole month, right? You see how the speed has actually throttled down, lah. Okay, I tell. Uh, you. That is true because now you look a very handsome compared to your real self. I think the speed of the internet uh, brought your extra beauty feature out. All sign on to the TikTok. Speaking of which, we should do a TikTok or two. Oh. Why not? And just include it in this episode, lah. Huh? But stay home, folks. Stay safe. That's Don't right. simply go out and try to be funny. I know what you're up to. I know what you did yesterday, tomorrow, and tomorrow after. So please stay at home. Stop hoarding! <laughs> Stop hoarding! This is our Sunday Rose Week 2 MCO as we gear up for Week 3. May the force be with us. Yee! Yeah. Oh.